Welcome back. It was a safe haven for black families. It became famous for its nightlife in the early 1900s. Idlewild was a resort town where black people could legally buy property. But the 1300 acres became largely abandoned in the 60s with desegregation. Paula Tutman has been following the story of Idlewild's comeback. She recently returned to see how the concept of progress is now being redefined by generations of Idlewilders. You hear this? Listen. The sound of birds, breeze, and very little else. This is historic Idlewild, and this is Lake Idlewild in the early morning sun. This was one of the only safe bastions for blacks to come, play, and stay from the 1920s, really, to the 1960s. Now, of course, it was known for its splashy nightlife, but today, present day, in the light of day, it is visible that Idlewild is a place in transition. The moment day breaks, the sounds of progress drown out the songs of birds. Neighbors say this house has been purchased and is being refurbished by a judge from Detroit. And then there's Doug Brown. Now able to work remotely, sold his home in Florida to live in Idlewild permanently. He's the fourth generation to own property here. His children are the fifth generation. There's a feeling that I get when I come to Idlewild that I don't get anywhere else. <laughs> As locals from Yates Township come to enjoy the only public beach well, in the area, the We're right in there. locals who for generations have been stewards of Idlewild proper, this longitude and latitude once called Black Eden, plan its what's next. That's the problem. That's it. Those tied to the community by heart and history are piecemealing a comeback refurbishing historic landmarks like the Flamingo Club, once known for big music acts like Sarah Vaughn and Jackie Wilson and beautiful showgirls. We're doing our part to put our best foot forward to show that we're putting our blood and sweat into it. But there's a new act in the wings, less focus on the flashy past and instead capitalizing on the secret sauce basics of black families, building and strengthening community. You come here and you're like, I'm okay and I'm gonna be okay because I'm surrounded amongst family. And when I say I'm surrounded amongst family, it's not blood family, it's friends, it's people that, you know, just accept you as a community. Idlewild existed because of racism and exclusion in the early 20th century. Middle-class blacks to wealthy business people and physicians, innovators, entertainers, athletes purchased here because Jim Crow laws gave them no place else to go. Now that blacks can go and buy elsewhere, generations of idle wilders are working to give blacks a reason to come back and invest. Every Wednesday in the summers, the idle wild version of Ladies Who Lunch, Pizza, Wine, Bridge, and 365 combined years of commitment to idle wild. <coughs> Denise Bellamy is the president of the Idle Wild Lot Owners Association. Community is what's going to keep us all together. Music can come later, it can come anytime, but families and, and, and people who have been here for generations, they, they've held it down all these years. Many of us are looking back to 1913 and 1914 up to the 20s, and we are seeing the same kinds of things happening now that used to happen then. We see people being accosted and harassed. We see people wanting to feel safe. Uh, people wanting to really celebrate what we have achieved uh, as a race since we have been here. And uh, people are now coming back. One of the Detroit's newest lions, Devin Funches, has turned the historic Red Rooster into Peyton's Bar and Grill. The community up there and the, and the families that's up there is, 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 is history-based. And just being a part of that is just, it's a blessing itself. Weekends are a draw for families and fun seekers with an endless lineup of events, music shows, and reunions. We, the people of Detroit, come um, and do their um, Great Lakes People of Color uh, retreat here for the second year in a row. Summer Oasis Music Festival, Glamping Festival is coming back. As Idlewild is perched to emerge on the other side of history, a focal point of the growing consciousness of surrounding communities those communities that once excluded the residents of Idlewild and forced it to become the Black Eden it once was are now part of the inclusion of what it will become. In Idlewild, Paula Tutman, Local 4.